Hello and welcome to another episode of True Crime Stories, where we explore the dark side of human nature. Today we're going to count down the top 5 most notorious serial killers in history, based on the number of victims, the brutality of their crimes, and the impact they had on society. These are the murderers who shocked the world with their evil deeds and left behind a legacy of fear and horror. Let's begin. Number 5. John Wayne Gacy John Wayne Gacy was an American serial killer who killed at least 33 young men and boys between 1972 and 1978 in Chicago, Illinois. He lured his victims to his home with promises of jobs, money, or drugs, then sexually assaulted, tortured, and strangled them. He buried 26 of his victims in the crawl space under his house, three others in his backyard, and four more in a nearby river. He was also known as the killer clown because he often dressed up as a clown for children's parties and charity events. He was arrested in 1978 after one of his intended victims escaped and alerted the police. He was convicted of 33 murders and sentenced to death. He was executed by lethal injection in 1994. Number 4, Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was an American serial killer who killed at least 30 women and girls across several states between 1974 and 1978. He was a handsome and charming law student who used his charisma and intelligence to lure his victims into his car or apartment, where he would rape, beat, and strangle them. He often returned to the crime scenes to mutilate and necrophile the corpses. He also kept some of their body parts as trophies. He escaped from prison twice and committed more murders while on the run. He was finally captured in Florida in 1978 after killing two sorority sisters and a 12-year-old girl. He confessed to 30 murders before his execution by electric chair in 1989, but some experts believe he may have killed more than 100. Number 3, Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer was an American serial killer who killed 17 men and boys between 1978 and 1991 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He targeted mostly young men of color who he met at gay bars, malls, or bus stops. He drugged them, strangled them, and dismembered them in his apartment. He also engaged in cannibalism, necrophilia, and attempted lobotomy on some of his victims. He kept their skulls, bones, and organs in his refrigerator and freezer. He was arrested in 1991 after one of his intended victims escaped and led the police to his apartment. He pleaded guilty to 15 murders and was sentenced to life imprisonment. He was killed by a fellow inmate in 1994. Number 2, Harold Shipman. Harold Shipman was a British doctor who killed at least 218 patients between 1972 and 1998 in England. He was a respected family physician who injected his mostly elderly female patients with lethal doses of diamorphine, a form of heroin, under the guise of pain relief or treatment. He then signed their death certificates with false causes of death and sometimes forged their wills to benefit himself or his family. He was caught in 1998 when the daughter of one of his victims became suspicious of his involvement in her mother's death and will. A police investigation revealed that he had killed hundreds of people over the years. He was convicted of 15 murders and sentenced to life without parole in 2000. He committed suicide in his cell in 2004. Number 1, Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper is the name given to an unidentified serial killer who terrorized London's East End in 1888. He killed at least five women who were all prostitutes working in the slums of Whitechapel. He mutilated their bodies with surgical precision, removing organs and leaving them in grotesque poses. He taunted the police and the public with letters that claimed responsibility for the murders and mocked their efforts to catch him. He also sent a parcel containing a human kidney to a local vigilance committee. His identity and motive remain unknown to this day, despite numerous theories and suspects. He is widely considered the first modern serial killer and one of the most infamous criminals in history. That's it for this episode of True Crime Stories. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more chilling content. Thanks for watching and stay safe.